there, listeners. Welcome back to uh, the Eagle Eye podcast, and we're back to our favorite segment. Boring is not boring. Mm-hmm. Today here, I'm joined with uh, Amanda and... Jack Barry. Jack Barry. So, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 I got the name right. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll cut it out. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, no, don't oh, say that. Call me Amelia. No up. way. Oh. She looks like an Amelia, honestly. But. Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, Jack, uh, what uh, you say you're from Australia? Yeah, yeah. Um, from uh, Queensland, um, from a little place called Sunshine Coast. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I miss it. It's very, very beach culture, very hippie kind of surfer kind of dude kind of place. Um, uh, yeah, so I've... Uh, yeah, I was born and raised in Western Australia, moved around a lot, and then uh, ended up there and kind of called Sunshine Coast, Queensland home. So That's great. Yeah. So um, why did you come here to the States? Um, baseball. I, I, uh, I play baseball. I started playing when I was about 12 years old, and I ended up signing a professional contract with the Minnesota Twins on my 18th birthday. And great. I, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was gnarly, man. It was a dream come true. So I... Uh, I came to America first um, to play baseball, went to Florida for spring training, um, and uh, yeah, man, that's why I'm here, so. Sweet. So how do you like it here? Is it different than Australia? Oh, it's, I mean, it's a huge culture culture shock. I mean, you would know for sure, like, mm-hmm. how, how completely different it is coming to a different country, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, being in America is, it's like in the movies, but they don't give you, like, the whole rundown, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they just, they kind of just go, hey, you know, just go out and, and figure it out yourself, so. Yeah. Everyone walks, we aren't all just cowboys. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, down here for sure, I've seen a lot of cowboy hats and cowboy boots. Oh, we love it. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anyone. Really? Yeah. I was in Subway the other day and some guy had a cowboy hat that was massive. Like, I'm sitting there going, dude, this guy lives well, it. Probably yeah. I'm here on campus, old. you won't find a lot. You'll find one or yeah. two people. But it's like, if you go down to like one of the cities here or one of the little towns, everybody's like cowboy boots. Hey, what you doing? Partner? Yeah, <laughs> all cool, about that though. southern twang. Yeah, oh for sure. Uh, I, I can't do accents. Like whatever, whatever. I tried to do like a German, or like a an Amer- uh, like a German or a London accent. Don't mind, I'm jumping in. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, okay, we're joined uh, by a third guy. You guys oh, all know man. him. Come here and say your name, bro. Well, you have to move. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're professionals here. Very professional. I love it. No. Nah, I think if you just go on the fly, I think things work out better. So Exactly. Yeah. Yes. No, but yes. Uh, I'm J I'm Jacob and what were we talking about? I totally forgot asking oh you to my move. Goodness. Uh we were uh, talking what? about uh, Oh yeah, you I can. was talking about <laughs> accents, right? Yeah, yeah, I was talking about my accent and that it's like I've been trying to do uh I say that because it's like everyone here on this show has distinct accents, and I'm like, when I, it's like it just makes me jealous because when I'm trying to do like a German or a London accent, it sounds so American. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, and it's like I love those Morrison movies where it's like it's clearly like an American doing a London accent. It was just like, oh. Oh boy. Yeah, it, it's it's funny though for like uh, for Europeans and I mean Australians as well. I find that like, it's like easier for the, us to do an American accent. Like like you know Rick off of the Walking Dead. Like he's yeah. he's from London. Like oh yeah, Andrew Lincoln. Yeah yeah, yeah that guy yeah that bloke. So he he's he's totally like you know he's he's totally British, but he doesn't sound one lick of British like at all. Yeah. Switch. Exactly. Yeah. He, he, he does. He pulls it off really well. But it is it is hilarious because I, I mean I get it all the time. Um, People try to mimic an Australian accent. Oh, good day, mate. Oh, sure, I shrimp on the Barbie, and it's just—it's so cringe. It's terrible. It's like, come on, man. Like, you get to, like put some work in before he's giving that a go. But you know, but yeah. Actually, go in, watch, watch some YouTube. You know what? What? You know what? Watch some YouTube on how to actually do an Australian voice, or listen to a voice long enough where you can pick it up. Right. right. I've been watching too much of Aussie Man. Oh, really? <laughs> you like Aussie Man? Yeah. Oh, yes, I do. He's a crack up, mate. He's a crack up. Yes. Yeah. That guy's hilarious. No. <laughs> so my, my question is, our next question is going to be real quick. What has been like your biggest challenge here from transitioning from Australia to the States? Um, oh, gee. Uh, <sighs> it's, a, it's 
the same as her answer, then we're going to keep a scoreboard of like of like these answers. Okay. Um, I mean, there's, there's probably a multiple of things. Um, I think maybe like two things. But the first thing I'd say would be the food. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah I hate one. this food. The food is just, it's not nice. Joyce. <laughs> yes. Like, it's so, yes. Thank you. It's terrible. Thank it's the you, love. It's the fattest country in the world. Yeah, I mean, food. yeah. That's already a oh. two. Yeah, food for sure. I mean, I, it, it takes me, like, once I go home and then come back, it takes me about two to three months to actually like, get accustomed to the food. I have a very weak stomach when it comes to that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I, I, str- I struggle a little bit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, now food, and I'll definitely say the culture and how people are. I, uh, one thing that, that kind of gets me is, like, for example, when people, like, order at, like, a fast food restaurant, they go, let me get a, uh, I mean, and back home we say, may I please have, like, that's, it's that, that kind of got me off a little bit too. So that was probably a, a, the two biggest things that got wow. me. Yeah. Weird. Uh, America, no matter. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, no, I, I feel the same way. I always, I always say, yo, may I please have, mm-hmm. or, or may I get, you know. Right. You know, you know I, it's, it's always a question of may or can, or can you guys, you know make this you know obviously yeah. most of the time it is because it's up on a menu of course but yeah. still, it's more of just a manner thing and, and a politeness thing and yeah you are right a lot of people just say i've worked in customer service not mm-hmm. fast food but customer service it's terrible and, in it. and like you know how, how can i help you i don't you know that yeah you know this it's like it's like okay you know very direct and straight to the point yeah. that i want to muck is. around you know I what i mean yeah. yeah okay i have a question okay. so what is the most um, played sport in Australia is it baseball or not? Absolutely not. Baseball is really? definitely not most played sport. It's very, baseball is quite little. Um, we have our own professional team there, but I mean it's not on TV or anything like that. But um, yeah, if if anyone wants to know, it's called the ABL. Go check it out on online. But um, no, I think definitely uh, cricket, um, rugby, and AFL, which is like a f- Australian football, which is a completely different story, and maybe soccer. Maybe those four would have like the, the, the tee up, you know, that would probably be uh, up in the ranks, but. That hurts me. Well, Basketball's not in there. That, <laughs> Basketball's that, probably fourth okay. or fifth, honestly, yeah. Okay, oh. that, that is another country where like, again, when, whenever America see, sees other countries, you know, and like, you know, we think sports of other countries, mm. we always think soccer's on the top. Yeah, no. Nah. That's another country where, where soccer doesn't even make the top three. Nah, nah. So I mean, so- so- soccer's we, played, yeah. So we're for two sure. for two on, yeah. on soccer now. Yeah, nah. I mean, I, it, it's big there. Like, we, we have our own league and that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure Usain Bolt actually came down and played in, in the pro league just recently, which was nuts. I don't really, I don't know too much about that story. I just read like a little article on it, but. Um, yeah, Usain Bolt went down there and played um, in the in the pro league there for some reason. I don't know why, but um, no, de- definitely just outran the ball. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> just, just kicked it really far and then sprinted past everybody. Honestly, um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely think cricket and rugby are probably the the, the, the main two, hundred percent. So why did you choose baseball? Um, I kind of fell into it. Um, mm-hmm. It kind of just kind of uh, happened. I was I was a little skate park kid. I used to always be at the skate park and skipping school and you know being a rat bag and. You know, not not the not the best student, best kid, but um, I was on the way to the skate park one day, and uh, there was a bunch of cars outside of a, a field and about out of a baseball field, and I pulled in, had a look, and checked it out, and I fell in love. Like this guy was hitting, and he hit a double into the right center gap, and I still remember the sound. I still remember where the ball went. I still remember what it, what it, what it sounded like, what it felt like. It, you know, it gives me goosebumps, and I fell in love. And um, from then, I was like, I want to do this forever so i um yeah i wanted to st- pretty much yeah just kind of yeah fell in love straight away and um from that day on five years later i signed a professional contract and started my uh career and journey over here in america so yeah that is amazing yeah it's Good. pretty cool okay. so we i don't know if this is tr- true or not but i know australia has this reputation for having like really weird creatures Weird or dangerous? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I've looked online. Your guys' bugs like f- make me want to just know. <laughs> yeah, no, we're definitely um, we're definitely known for having a lot of crazy um, animals and snakes and whatever and all like that. Uh, that you know, a lot of them kill you. I think I think we have like like eighteen of the most twenty two deadliest snakes in the world, or Ooh. something like that. Uh-uh. Um, okay. And we have a, we have a lot of big spiders, a lot of poisonous spiders. Um, of course. Not going to visit you in yeah. Australia anymore. But look, okay, no, you, you have to. Okay, you have to. It's okay. it's, it's beautiful. I have but. seen horror like not not horror not. Not horror as in, you know, movie genre. You know, dun, dun, dun. No, I have seen <laughs> scary videos of just, of like, of, um, 
it was just a small clip of like you know of a, per- of a person pl- flushing the toilet and snakes you, come out. Yeah. Yep. That, that's that, that's that, how every that day. Happen? No. I mean, I, obviously, it's not like that all the time, but like you know, when you, if I've lived in the country, like like smack bang, like pretty much in the middle of Australia, like where it's just red dirt and nothing else for miles, um, and it's honestly like that. You have to like you have to check your shoes before you you leave the house. You have to check your bed before you get into it. You have to check your clothes, uh, anything that you like, even in your car. If you have to check your car inside and outside your car before you literally like go and do stuff, just in case there's a snake, a spider, or something that's gonna bite oh, you good. or hurt you. Gosh, yeah. I'd rather just I know. Down the house at that point. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's why most people stick to the coastal areas. There's not many people inside the middle of it. You know, there's not many, not much population there. But I, I would say the, the craziest animal um, back home would be the platypus. Oh. Um, I know, and I know, and you, you think it's all cute and everything, but I've got, I got a little shocker to tell you. So I think it's either the male or the, the male or the female. I can't remember, but they have a little hook on their elbow, that it's a poisonous hook. Right? Oh, I've heard. I know about this. You know about it, yeah. So yeah. basically, it, if it hits you, um, they have no cure to stop what like the venom or, or what it does. Basically, if it hits, let's say it hits you in the arm, you are screaming hysterically for t- you, for twenty four hours. You're you're begging to cut your limb off. You're begging to die. They have to actually tie you down to like a uh, like a like a hospital bed and leave you in the room just to kind of go through it because there's nothing they can do about it and the the venom is just is excruciating. It doesn't kill you though. No, it doesn't kill you. I mean, some people die because of the shock of it, like if you're old or young and that kind of stuff. But I mean, if you're a healthy person, like it, you just you just have to withstand it. So it's it's usually about 24 hours of just withstanding the worst possible pain of your Have you life. Seen the food I eat, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's crazy because they look so cute and cuddly, and people want to pick them up and that kind of stuff. Yeah, don't do that. Just what? Oh, okay, cool platypus, let it go. Just. But that, yeah, that sounds like a terrible initiation. For, <laughs> for like, if you can make it through this, you are a real Australian. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. Ah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But um. <laughs> One one thing like the the tourists like tourists kind of get in trouble with a lot, and that's why people think it's so scary, is because like people like see something that they want to pick up, pick up, and they do it, and then okay, they either get bitten by a spider or a snake or that you know whatever it or a jellyfish or get eaten by a crocodile. So like just if you see something that doesn't look like good, it probably it's probably not. So don't <laughs> don't go near it. You know, just kind of leave, leave it be. Teeth, fang, scale, fur, <laughs> or a stick. Pretty much anything that moves, if just kind of leave it alone. Other than a dog, uh, about that. <laughs> I will admit, my favorite animal I have seen from Australia is probably the kangaroo mouse. I think they're adorable. Oh yeah, the, the little little tiny ones. The little yeah. tiny ones. I'm mm-hmm. just like, ah, oh, it doesn't want to kill me. Yeah. And it's adorable. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, kangaroos. Kangaroos are everywhere, man. They're like deer times ten. I swear. <laughs> what? I swear they're everywhere. Oh, you haven't been around here in hunting season, then? No, well, I haven't. I haven't. But I mean, I've been. I've been up in Ohio. I've been to a few places where they do have like hunting, and I, I, I swear we have can- well, kangaroos. Are like big jumping rats. They're everywhere. I swear <laughs> to God. But they're beautiful. They're, they're one. Of, they're my favorite animal. Uh, mm. You know, they're so unique and so. You know, crazy how, how they are, but I just like how they can hold little babies. They have a little pouch for babies. Yeah, know. yeah, man. Call them marsupials. It must, yeah. Yeah. Most of the animals are like that. They have little pouches yeah, over there. Up, so. up here, when it comes to animals, the most we get are usually just birds, mm-hmm. and occasionally we do get deer. Like I remember one night, uh, we were done with a recording, and I was driving across like the road here from the F Pack to the main road. And a baby deer comes running across, Aww. and I was so scared because I didn't want to hit it. <laughs> so I just slammed the brakes on, and it just ran past me. And I'm like, because you know deer are dumb. Yeah. They just they see the lights and they're like, oh, is this it? Right. It's <laughs> like go. You're too cute to die. Yeah. No, they're adorable. Huh? For sure. Oh yeah, but yeah. America's animals is like are so boring. It's like oh no, I, well, di- I disagree. I mean, well, disagree. no, unless it is like a full-grown deer and it and and it knows that it could move. It just uh, says, "I hope you have insurance." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess it's just because I've seen the same. I've lived in the same area my whole life. Yeah. So it's like I'm getting like I want to mix something up, mm-hmm. but maybe. Hey I, man, come to Australia. We have to have you. <laughs> I'm just like I would I would love to, but I probably would have to start slow. I would go inward and then slowly make it farther and farther. Yeah, for and sure. I'm just like, oh boy. See, I, I think the difference is here is that we have things that can poison you and and like you know paralyze you and that kind of stuff. But here, you have things that literally eat you. Yeah, they have like, things that can kill you. Yeah, like rip you apart and uh, you know we have, we have bears and cougars and 
yeah, bulk cats say the or bears. <laughs> like that's that is uh, that's gnarly. I don't. I, I would rather face up against any type of snake, spider, or crocodile than muck around with a bear. I think yeah. they are nuts. So. Oh uh, yeah. Like, well, what? well, at least here, if you make yourself look threatening and big, which you can obviously do, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just go, you know, j- just like go. Ah! It'll actually scare them off. They're more afraid of you than seriously, yeah. bro. I I don't I don't know if that's like, true, man. I swear to God, if you did that to a bear, the bear's like and just slash you with its claw, if, and you'd be done. If it's like big enough, and you're like in his territory, yeah, he will kill you. Yeah, but if it's like it's like a tiny little bit, if it's a very like medium sized bear, and it's out of its territory, and it's out of its territory, you could just go raw, and then they'll run off. It's, it's hilarious. There's so many videos on YouTube of like wow. bears. I didn't know that. One, one thing, I don't think your yell would work. Yeah. Would, <laughs> no, that bear's like, oh, well, there's dinner. <laughs> Just like. Uh, little, little late night snack. <laughs> just, yeah, but there's a lot of videos of bear people who live out this area or just people who live out in the country. Bears will just stumble on their porch. Mm. But since they're so small and since they're out of their territory, they just go, raw. And That's then the nuts. bear's like, oh, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, right. I it's didn't know that. Like, it's it's crazy. It's it's like, I like granted, you say like the animals there, they'll just like, oh, they'll paralyze you or whatever. <laughs> now here in America, we we just they just kill you. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Like crocodiles are terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Now they they're... get so big here in America. Really? It's no, we have alligators. You guys have yeah, alligators actually, here. No alligators. My yeah. What I keep. And even, the, the the, and even those are small compared comparatively. I mean, like alligators get gigantic here. It's like almost like I think one of them was like Still, I'd rather eight not to face ten either, feet. I'd rather not face a, an alligator or a crocodile. No, I, I, ra- I, I rather just stay inside. Yeah, once once you're in the water, you're in their territory. You're pretty much going down from there. So yeah. I just yeah, kind of got to got to be careful with that kind of stuff. Okay, Jack. Question. Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite part about America? Oh, <laughs> might take me a while. No, I, I'm, I'm just mucking around. Um, look, I think how, how the sport culture here, that's not my favorite part. I, I got to think about this for a second. I mean, I love, I love the sport here. Now everyone's all, all on about sport, but um, man. No, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've been here for about two years without going home. So I'm, um, uh, yeah, it's, I it's, did not know that. it's been a while, um, actually over two years at this point. Um, but, uh, I, so I, I'm kind of burnt out a little bit of, of from America. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's a great place. I think if you're looking for opportunity here and you want to, you want to make, make something for yourself, it, it's a great place to do that. But, um, uh, I just, you know, the, the culture here is just completely different to what it is back home. Um, but I mean, I, like I would say, I think, I think this, the sporting, Sports would be the, the biggest thing, and probably Netflix. I think that's probably like the best thing. I think <laughs> that is. <laughs> I love that. I love the answer. Yeah. What's that? You guys don't get Netflix. Last we do, but I, that we wouldn't have gotten Netflix if it wasn't for America. So like, oh. thank you very much. Because <laughs> <laughs> Netflix and Hulu is you're just you're doing it right. I swear. I don't have to watch TV anymore. I could just you chuck know, that on the internet. I feel like the best thing Netflix provides is you don't have to create a personal schedule around it. You can just do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's gnarly. It's gnarly. Do you have every TV show on Netflix back home that is here? We actually have a different Netflix. Okay. It's, because we don't have friends no. or Grey's Anatomy. And I was crying when it's, I went home. Really? Yes. I was like, Oh my God, I don't have friends. I don't have Grey's Anatomy. What am I going to do? You should have friends yeah. on Netflix right now. And no, it's because yeah, like, like each I'm home, home. Oh, yeah, each oh. region is completely different. Oh, like, oh I, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. yeah, it's region lock and whatnot. Yeah, because I, I know like Netflix back home, we have we have Family Guy and American Dad and Rick and Morty, right, mm-hmm. on Netflix. But all that stuff's on Hulu over here. So it's all just, it's all very differently mixed up. And I know we have like Vikings. I don't know if you guys know that, that show, Vikings. Oh, yeah, we, we know about it. Brilliant it's show, season. brilliant show. But uh, I mean, I yeah. I it's on, it's licensed by Netflix over here. Yeah, is it really? I think so. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, we didn't know that. So we, we, Either that or it's it's like Netflix is kind of weird in how they claim their original properties. And I'm like, it's you didn't make this. You're just <laughs> buying the licensing rights. That's yeah. all you did. Yeah. buying it from History Channel, which isn't really... No, I think it's like the only thing good going for History Channel at the moment. <laughs> Granted, yeah. I, I watch Bojack Horseman. Oh, good show. That's a great I'm, show. I haven't watched the fifth season yet. Me neither, actually. I haven't gone into it. I just, I finally have the time to take a break, so I'm just like, yes. Yeah, get back into it. And I yeah. hear it's like the darkest season. And I'm oh, just like, jeepers. how can it get any darker? Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty like, rough, in it? Yeah. Like, chill show. Just let me, let him have a, well, he did have a win last season. 
Yeah, that's true. Spoilers. But <laughs> anyway, what's another, what's another thing? Baseball question. Baseball, baseball question. Yeah, I'm baseball. not good at baseball, but okay. what's your favorite team? Oh, it was the Blue Jays. Um, <laughs> I know I knew who that is, but yeah, that's fine. They're the Toronto Blue Jays, and they had a rough season this year. Um, look, I'm, I don't really think I have a, have a team. I just I just love baseball. And mm-hmm. If there's anyone playing, even if it's you know the Yankees, whatever it is, like everyone hates the Yankees. It's it's, it's like a it's like a common thing. to everyone hate the Yankees? Take notes. I have you, to, you, I have to hate Yankees. Have to okay. hate the Yankees. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, write that down. Okay, even okay. New Yorkers hate the Yankees. Even, okay. Well, I don't know about that. If you're from uh, if you're from, yeah if you're from New York, if you say you hate the Yankees, you're already getting in a, in a brawl. And I've <laughs> I've been in a bit few situations with New Yorkers that that's happened. But no, nah, I mean I, I just I'm just a lover of baseball and lover of the game. It doesn't really matter what team's playing. I'm more like specific players uh, when it comes to like that kind of stuff. I used to be a huge St. Car- Louis Cardinals fan when Albert Pujols used to play. Um, that was that was my team. I loved all the, uh, that whole team, and they won, you know, I think two or three um, World Series whilst I was whilst he was there and whilst I was barracking for him. But then after he left and went to the uh, L.A. Angels, I kind of just was like, I'm not, you know, not going to stick with this team anymore. I'm just going to love baseball and try different teams out with different players so yeah that's my answer i I reckon yeah so uh what parts of america have you been to oh man i uh let's let's see i've been to texas Mm. florida um west virginia minnesota oregon idaho yes idaho Idaho potatoes yeah yeah i went to idaho state last year oh yeah you you did too (laughs) yeah you were telling me about that yeah um, Idaho, I've been, to, uh, I've been to Nevada, to Reno and Vegas. Um, haven't been to California yet, which I'm kind of upset about. Uh, I know, I need to go to Cali real bad. But um, Okay, as someone who is from California. Okay. Oh, really? Who, who was born, yes, I was born in California. Where in Cali? Uh, San Bernardino, so L- LA. Oh, area. nice. I, I actually have a mate who lives there. That's awesome. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah, well, my family's more towards Burbank now. Okay. But... Um, Okay, have you driven in Atlanta or any big city? Uh, I mean, I've I've driven in uh, I've driven through Chicago. Um, I mean, I haven't I've only gone to Atlanta once. Uh, well, twice to go see the Braves game, but I haven't. Right. Really, yeah, I wasn't really into Atlanta, but yeah. Um, take all of Atlanta or Chicago, spread it out across the state. It's like the traffic. That's what it's like. Yeah. Well, yes. Are you serious? Yes. Nah, yeah. I could not do that. Yeah. No. I there were no unless they were. Like, tree like trees that you know will never fall down unless you actually want them to. <laughs> yeah, there are no trees. Wow, there is nothing, and it's That's all sad. it's all grid and it's all grid intersect intersections. Like I went there, I went there for a week, and I looked around and go and I went, what is this? Wow. And I I was visiting family now, mind you, it's interesting that there's literally everything that you know that every culture that you could ever you know, imagine to see, mm-hmm. but at the same time, traffic's bad to get anywhere to eat. You have to go there at four or five o'clock in the afternoon Oh my gosh. for dinner. That's dinner. That's see, i how do you, how do you do? I mean, I would just want to like, t- I'll buy a moped and just drive on, <laughs> drive on the actually, side of the road. Yeah, actually. Yeah. A lot yeah. of, a lot of people had, had mopeds or the, or the, or the yeah, U- Uber, or they have some, some, you know, look, little scooter that, yeah. that they go on the sidewalks buy a skateboard or something like that yeah just yeah. be bart simpson just kind of skate everywhere <laughs> that sounds like a way better idea than driving in a car that sounds horrible well, you were a skater so you know yeah well i mean yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah however it is a fast food place okay but in and out burger in, Ca- in california i've heard good things i've heard have good things have you ever okay. been i have never out. had it before okay but i've heard great you've things been here for it. how long five years Okay, and it, we don't yeah. have in and out Burger in Georgia or no. anywhere towards the east. It's, it's all, only in California, yeah. In uh, oh. ca- California, Nevada, a few, a few west. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, okay. oh I'm sorry. Actually, when I was in Vegas, I walked past in and out, and I was like, I got to try that, and then never did. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, if you do remember the remember, uh, it's like a secret menu item called the animal. The animal. It's four beef patties. Wow, that sounds like cholesterol overload <laughs> America it is, is like, but it's so good it's so good food here in America is like does it, if it gives me a heart attack 
it's not good enough. Wow. Okay. 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 I, See, that's why I struggle with getting used to the food because, like, back home, our food's very organic, very fresh, very like fresh produce. You know, we have a lot of green I stuff. Know the you know. Need to put down on the thing is the yeah, food organic she said that, or not? She said that, that everything there, everything from Latvia was fresher. Yeah, hundred percent. So much better. So our McDonald's, we have like a gourmet section. Like I know you guys have like a gourmet thing, but we have like a literally gourmet. Like they bring in fresh produce every day for McDonald's. Like you think like a Big Mac is like a you know it looks like what it looks like in the in the photo. No, it like actually looks like that in the actual photo. Or for example, like you can make your own burger out of complete scratch with like actual like real good. You can spend like 30, 40 bucks at at McDonald's. It's like it's gourmet stuff now. They've completely changed the the way that they're actually marketing it. Um, okay. Thank no, it's very. You know, <laughs> I lived off McDonald's when I first came here. I think the fresh and fifteen's a true thing. But I think I um, yeah just lived off uh, two dollar McChickens. That's honestly the first first thing I did when yeah, I, I no, did that, That's the whole thing. It's mm-hmm. it's cheap and fast. That's basically the whole entire uh, food culture here. Yeah, one hundred percent. You're gonna be moving, little buddy. Oh. oh, we should also mention we have our little podcast buddy, JB the Bunny, PJ, PJ. <laughs> Okay, so I heard that um, when you went to get fast food or something, what do you call, so you get like burger, a drink, and then fries, right? No, no cold fries. <laughs> they are fries, they're, they're, are cold, not they're cold chips. <laughs> no. Yeah, cold chips. Cold I don't, chips. so th- this is, I, I, this gets me all the time, and people make fun of me all the time. They go, oh, can I get some chips? And like, I'll go to McDonald's. Or, or, I don't go to McDonald's much anymore, but when I used to, I go, can I get some chips? They go, uh, we don't sell chips. I'm like, yeah, you do. In, <laughs> <laughs> in the red cup thing, like, oh, French fries? I'm like, yeah, same thing. They're chips. not French. <laughs> they're, not, they're not French. You know, just. <laughs> they're not, what is it called? It's chips. The they're fries. The of the name. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know why you're trying to, you know, spaz it up a bit too much, but. But yeah, no, I mean, chips, like in a bag, that's chips or crisps. And then um, chips, you know, fish and chips, like it's not fish and fries, like it's fish and chips. So that's why, that's why we say it like that, I guess. I just love it. I heard that story and I was like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> yeah, we get, we get made fun of a lot of some of the things that we say. I have, I've, had, I've definitely uh, had to kind of adjust to speaking here. Because people would literally go like, "What? What are you trying to say?" Like, <laughs> I can't get. I don't even know an example. But when I go back home, uh, my mates give me so much, so much trouble about my accent because they they think my accent now is like so American. What? Like, yeah. Like, I, I wish I could call my friend right now and, and show show you his accent. He's just straight, true blue Aussie battler. Like, and I'm 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 a, I sound American today. It takes me about two weeks to get out of it, but. Man, they they uh they definitely let me have it when I first get there because I just sound be like oh you're American you know, you know I mean? so, <laughs> give me all this trouble about it but um but yeah actually you you know what's weird now that you mention it like we still hear the the uh, the Australian accent but I do hear it like kind of leaving mm-hmm. no. a, a couple mm-hmm. of times like no. like you like for you I don't hear an accent. Yay! I'm happy. Well, I have an accent. <laughs> Why? No, I definitely. I did. I had no idea you were you were from a different country until I looked at your Instagram. And you told me. Oh wow. Yeah, because I because you we was chatting like you were you sounded very like just American. typical American, and I hate to say that. I'm so <laughs> sorry, but um, but yeah, I I just you know is is it because like you learned how to speak when you were over here, so you kind of like adjusted to that? Is that why? Mm, I actually don't know. Well, back home, so we started learning English at like fourth grade, right? Mm-hmm. But it depends on a pe- like on a human. So like my um, friends, they have really thick accents. Some oh, of really? them do, yeah. But some of them like talk like Americans. Like I had a friend last year. She was from Croatia. She had zero accent. Mm. She was speaking like a true American. Just normal, yeah. average day job. Because she was watching. A lot of American TV shows. See, I think that's where where they where Europeans mm-hmm. get it from. Like my, I had a roommate who was from the Netherlands, and he learned English purely off of just American TV. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of broken. Like when you talk to him, it's like it's very just like very European talk. I mean, you you know what I'm talking about, mm-hmm. but um, but yeah. So like, and he he's like, he told me he's like, yeah, I've been learning learning English just off American TV, and he has a very like strong American accent, and then it just flips straight to like super strong. Amsterdam kid so yeah it's it's really weird like I, def- I think Europeans definitely have like a, like a mutt kind of uh accent when they have come over here have you ever heard Russians speak English yeah it's hilarious 
Um, no, no offense, but I mean... Well, I'm not Russian, so I'm good. No, I'm not saying... No. Good, good. Well, there goes our Russian viewers. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Do we no. have any Russians here? Uh, I, I know that we I have one know. Ukrainian, though. We have one Ukrainian? Mm-hmm. Sh- shout out to all the Russian students. Come on. Please text me. I'm going to talk to you in Russian if you need somebody. Wait, you speak, you speak Russian? Yes. Say something in Russian real quick. No. Please, just do Please. it. Please. What? Just tell, say, me, tell me a sentence. Uh, do you, can, uh, you speak like fluent Russian? Yeah. Um, say, <laughs> hello, my name is Amanda. I like peaches. Peaches? Yeah, we're in Georgia. Peach State. Well, I, I didn't know that. thing is peanuts. Peanuts? Oh, dude, boiled that. peanuts. I saw that thing there. That's strange. I don't, you guys you guys <laughs> need to figure that out okay. or we'll just get rid no, of that. Okay, okay. Not, it, it's an acquired taste. Oddly enough, Georgia is like a, the state of acquired tastes. Really? Where you have to have, it's boiled peanuts and sometimes pecans. I, 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 like, I like pecans. Yeah, yeah. pecans are good. Or a pecans. sweet tea. Pecans. Yes. Oh, or sweet tea. You guys are doing that well. I hate sweet <laughs> get tea. Out. Get Thank out. Thank you. Get out. That's, no, sorry. Thank you. I never grew up on it. So like the taste to me is just, eh. That was the first thing. So when I came to Georgia, that was the first thing my coach gave to me to try. Oh. It was nasty. Okay. I will, I will give it to you. <gasps> yeah. When I first came, I didn't like it either. It's way too sweet. It's but too sweet. No. It's, it's too it's an sweet. Acquired that's taste. It's definitely a quiet taste. Like, too I've gotten sweet, from period. Yeah. Too, no. Okay. That that's no. the point. That's the point of Georgia sweet tea. You just yeah. it, it, it's not just the sugar packets that they throw into there. It's naturally sweet tea. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Somehow. Yeah. No. Okay. You need to say hello. My name is Amanda. I don't know, I like peaches in Russian. I don't know how how peaches in Russian though. Oh, say I like some. I like that you, can something. I? Okay. Potatoes. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Здравствуйте, меня зовут Аманда, и я люблю баскетбол. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of people, but that was hilarious. I'm sorry, that was really funny. Oh, I'm never going to do that again. No, 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 I mean, hey, people make fun of me all the time. At least at least give me this one time. Like, like, yeah. You make fun of me all the time. When? No. One. Come on now. Okay, where do you want to travel? Like in the world? Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to go everywhere. I feel like it's a waste of me being on this earth where I don't go and see everything at least once. Um, I would Your lo- top, top choice top, right now. Top choice. Amsterdam or Switzerland. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I would... I, it'd be a dream of mine to have a little like log cabin out in Switzerland away from civilization just mm-hmm. so I could just get away and not have to talk to anyone sometimes i'm i'm very the ex- swish the swiss yeah this yeah that's it but <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm an extroverted person i like talking to people but there's also sometimes I just, I just need to get away and just have a bit of a break and i feel like that's probably like the nicest place to do it you know switzerland but amsterdam just because all the crazy stuff you can do i'm not going to get into it this is PG <laughs> but um yeah no i feel like that'd be a lot of fun a few of my mates go on there so let's see if i were to if i were to go anywhere i would try what is it Belgium though is it isn't it Belgium where like they have the waffle stands literally on the side of yeah. the, on the side of the road mm-hmm. and you can, what is it chocolate waffles like crepes and something Ooh, is crepes. that what you're talking about no no that's French isn't it that's French. yeah that, that's France yeah my bad um, I, I heard I heard somewhere that it's like waffle stands like we have you know New yeah. York has yeah has hot dog stands but you can get like a anything almost anything you want on yeah it. that's no. a place I would want to go my mate anyway, yeah continue on your list no no yeah uh, my mate who's actually just real quick on your little story about Belgium I played up with a guy who played baseball in Belgium or is play baseball with me he's from belgium and he told me about all those crepes oh not crepe stands though the waffle stands and he said like they're gnarly it's awesome yeah it's definitely definitely uh one thing that makes it cool but um i'm going to columbia actually on friday no i'm on the 17th i'm going out to play in the under 23 world cup from for australia so that's one thing i'm tech checking off my list is south america hey yeah i'm really uh yeah thank you yeah it's yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Um, so I take off South South America and check out what that's like and the, all the culture and stuff down there. That's definitely someplace I wanted to go. But uh, Europe and um, I wouldn't... Uh, where, where, where are all the monks from? I know that's very kind of vague, but is that in like, Tibet? Uh, which, which monks? There are many monks. You know, like the... the, the, the I, just, I don't want to be like racist, right? Like, like the bold ones with like the orange vests and... Those ones would be, um, yeah, either in... Tibetan monks. The, Tibet, Nepal. Yeah. Um, there are even some in, in some of the islands um, uh, in the Pacific. I'm not sure where. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's a full it's yeah. a full faith, so it, you don't just find them in one place. Right. They're just more known as Tibetan monks. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I mean, I don't know too much about it. I mean, just like, but I think, 
I, I watch a lot of Joe Rogan and his podcasts and that kind of mm. stuff. And um, I think I forgot who was talking about it, but I mean, he was talking about he went and did some stuff with the monks and that kind of stuff, and it just sounded really, really peaceful. And uh, that, that that's something that I would love to do at some point in my life, just go and spend some time with some some monks and just have like you know be quiet for a change you know and just <laughs> not talk anymore i think it's gonna be pretty hard for me but yes <laughs> 100%. <laughs> but yeah no i don't know it's just, just stuff like that just kind of like you know um well-being stuff you know go and seeing and experiencing different cultures would yeah be great. It, expand, expanding yourself and your yeah. understanding and you know uh, of cultures and mm. and even of language you know yeah you, you pick up here and there sorry i bumped the mic um, but you know just I feel like that's a good thing for anyone mm. to to do and learn. You know, I may not have the money for it, but I would if money were no were no object or no, or nothing. Yeah, you'd never see me again. That's I, right. I'd be right. gone. Yeah, you know, I'd just be walk, walking walking everywhere, expo- backpacking you know, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, throughout Europe, all all the way to pro- probably to Asia, China, Japan. You know, all those. That'd be nice, know. isn't it? Yeah, I think it's crazy how they're, 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 you you I mean, you probably know something about this too, like. You, you meet Americans here who haven't even like left their hometown that they were born yes. in. Yes, I'm like, it's and then I told them, oh, I've been to Hawaii and <laughs> LA, and they're they're like, wow. Like, I'm I'm no, nothing, nothing knocking them. Like, hey, like if you're happy, I'm, do I'm your thing. I'm in the same boat. Yeah, I've, you like that? I've, I've been only to Florida and Alabama. I've been to California and whatnot, but it's like I've never been outside of the states, and mm. I've always wanted to go outside of the states to just anywhere, honestly. Like Germany sounds really nice. Australia, of course. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> really want to go to Australia. Oh, you, you have to. The Amazon and you will, and you will be out of the oh, jeez. <laughs> I'd be like, thanks, but then halfway through it, I'd be like, I want to go home. I'm in the Amazon. Do some bear girl stuff. <laughs> cool, <isn't it? laughs> be like, I've always thought that was really funny with the bear girl show, and I'm like. They've got to like throw them like a candy bar at the commercial yeah. breaks or something. Yeah, I swear. They're like, I'm about to drink my own pee. Yeah. And it just cut. It's like, okay, get him the water that's dyed yellow. <laughs> it's a yellow food color. I feel bad it. for the cameraman, man. He has to do everything with a camera. Like, he does everything that Bear, Bear Grylls does, but with a camera in his hand. Like, I, I, t- I, I bet the cameraman's like in a much better like gourmet tent or something. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got yeah. like full, full, like, yeah, full gourmet yeah. food. Can, can, can you imagine? I'm. I'm cooking up this lizard. I have a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like a McDonald's bag? Just <laughs> like they just, air, they just airdrop fast food. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm happy I'm not following. I'm happy about You know who Bad Girls is? No, honey. Oh, sweetheart. You need, a, you need to educate yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay. You don't know who uh, Bad Girls is. Come whatever. On. Bear Grylls. Okay, you don't watch any survival stuff? Dual survival? No. Basically, he's like this. I'm boring, okay? I go home and I sleep and that's it. No. That sounds amazing. Like You've been like around the globe. Yeah, well, you just go and sleep when you go to Hawaii. and <laughs> oh, Come on Hawaii. now. I think you're un- underestimating yourself there, but. No, nah, okay, basically it's like this marine, like ex-marine dude, yeah. and they just chuck him in like the craziest like situations mm-hmm. in like random like abandoned places. Yeah, basically, okay, just imagine being dropped in the middle of the desert. All you have is a, is a, a let's knife. See it. A knife, much. a knife, a knife, maybe flint. Maybe, yeah, depending on the episode. <laughs> and like a crappy water bottle. Yeah, like, yeah. just like, yeah, like a little whatever but yeah and then he has to kind of make his way to like a certain checkpoint where the helicopter picks him up from but every time like he like he usually just like jumps out of a plane sometimes and or, or not, like a, a helicopter and like just jumps into water and has to figure it out like it's it's super weird and every and i swear every time it get like the episode gets down to him like being so thirsty he has to drink his own pee oh. it's it's like a, it's like an ongoing joke uh mm. i'm not, not really too sure but i mean it's you have to check it out for sure it's it's definitely oh, well. a lot of fun yeah, that's why I prefer dual survival. <laughs> they throw two guys in there. So, okay. man, you've to- Jack, you've told us that you've been multiple places here around in the States, mainly here in the South. What's your favorite place you've been here in the States? Oregon. Oregon? Oregon. Why Oregon? <laughs> Say Oregon. Again. Oregon. Is this party hard? Do they party hard? I mean, I, I was uh, I was 19 when I went to Oregon, so I couldn't really say that they party hard. But I mean, oh. it was just a I don't know. I just the landscape there was amazing, mate. Like oh. it was uh, it was awesome. I mean, like everyone there was really cool, like uh, you know, down to earth type of people. They're all hipsters, you know. That's what kind of reminds me of back home. Like back home, everyone's kind of like, you know, yeah. hipster kind of people. So Here in America, we're very much we're business. We're very business focused. We're like, what can you give me? Yeah. And if you can't offer me anything, get out of my face. Like, it, we're very, 
we, we, we kind of forget that it's like we just need to breathe. Yeah, Oregon's definitely the place to go and breathe, 100%. You'd be like this cute <laughs> little bunny. Yeah. I wish you people could see this, but this this bunny has... You can follow her, PJ. Oh, follow PJ. The bunny. <laughs> PJ the bunny. <laughs> she has an Instagram? Yes, she does. She has her own Instagram. Of That's course. A uh, <laughs> bunny has more followers than you. <laughs> Instagram, so. Exactly. So, yeah, the bunny's, <laughs> the bunny's already out winning. If I take this bunny, I'll be the bar. Okay, what is the one thing you missed about home except family and food? Oh, the beach. Mm-hmm. The beach. Yeah, the beach. I, I'll say it again, the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not much of a surfer, but I can, I can kind of do it. I can stand up and, you know, I can't do tricks or anything like, you know, Mick Fanning or any of the cool guys, but I just, I miss like the, the salt water and, you know, getting sunburn every day and that kind of stuff. And I understand how you feel, man. Like our fam, where our family owns like a beach house down in Florida. Yeah. Wow. And nice. Like, there's like one or two days where I'm just like, there's like a month or so where I just go where I'm like, I should be at the beach. I should be at the beach. Yeah. Cause it's like, you could just jump in there and sit your butt down and do nothing Yeah. and be like, I'm at peace. That's it. Man. It's just tranquil. But I, I, when I, last time I went home, I had been in America for, I think a year and a half straight and i went home and every day for about a month and a half i was at the beach for, for the sunrise and just because just to kind of soak it up because i didn't know when, when was the last time i was going to see it again you know um living in ohio because i was in ohio before i came here um and man it's yeah i i do miss that a lot just getting up every morning and you know go and get a smoothie and that kind of stuff or a coffee and just you know watching the sunrise oh waves God. coming in and the water is so beautiful too yeah it's just like the water's nice and blue, and, and the, the 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 sand is like uh, it's like powdered sugar. I swear, it's so soft. I, I, if, I, I really recommend like if you guys want to travel, like save up and just go to go to Australia for like a month and just just travel everywhere, backpack. Place to have have a rest. Go, yeah, go for it. Just be aware of the giant rats, <laughs> big jumping kangaroos, spiders. yeah, snakes, spiders. spiders, and platypus. Don't mess around with the platypus. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that caught. I hope that Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh. All right, guys. I believe that's about all the time that we have today for Foreign is Not Born. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jack. Yep. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. I've been, I've been ja- um, I am Jacob Blodgett. I don't know why I was going to say I've been. <laughs> I don't exist. Oh, Jacob dude. Blodgett doesn't exist anymore. Oh, boy. <laughs> you do exist, Jacob. I'm uh, Andrew Hans. I'm Amanda. May? Yeah. I'm um, Kangaroo Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Follow him on Instagram, Kangaroo Jack. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, <laughs> Kangaroo.jack. Don't, yeah. don't forget PJ the Bunny, too. And PJ the Bunny. Yeah, cheers. Oh. All right. See ya. Awesome, guys. Yay! That was Thanks, Jack. Brilliant. Thank you so much for the opportunity.